Welcome to question 2 of the 2018 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solutions for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. For question 2 we have let f of x equal negative x squared plus x plus 4 and g of x equals x squared subtract 2. For part A we're asked to find g of f of 3. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this f of 3 part which means we're going to sub 3 into this quadratic expression here. So f of 3 is going to equal negative and then in brackets we'll have 3 squared plus 3 plus 4. So when we evaluate this we'll have 3 squared is 9 so this will be negative 9 and then 3 plus 4 is 7 so we'll have plus 7 so this is going to equal negative 2. Next we're going to consider g of f of 3 However, f of 3 is simply negative 2, so that's the same as g of negative 2. So that is simply equal to the rule g, which is x squared subtract 2, with negative 2 now substituted in, so we'll have negative 2 squared subtract 2, and that's going to equal positive 4 subtract 2, which is positive 2. So 2 is the answer for part A of this question. For part b, we're asked to express the rule for f of g of x in the form ax to the power of 4 plus bx squared plus c, where a, b and c are non-zero integers. So that means when we have f of g of x, that's the same as f, and wherever there's x, we're going to replace it with x squared subtract 2. So that is going to equal, and we're going to have f, so we'll have negative x, but we replace it with x squared subtract 2, and that's going to be squared. Then we have plus x, which is plus x squared subtract 2, and then we still have plus 4. Our job is now to expand and simplify those terms, so we're going to find that this is equal to negative, and keeping that out the front with a big bracket, we now expand this binomially, which gives us the first term squared, which is x to the power of 4. Then we have 2 times these terms multiplied together, so we're going to have minus 4x squared, and then we're going to have the last term squared, which is going to be plus 4. Then we're still going to have plus x squared minus 2 plus 4. Simplifying that down further, we'll have negative x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared when we distribute this negative through, minus 4. Then we still have plus x squared and the minus 2 and the plus 4 would just be overall plus 2. And now we just need to collect up any like terms that we have. So we have plus 4x squared here and plus x squared here. And we also have minus 4 and plus 2 as like terms. So we can find that f of g of x, what we were asked to find, is equal to negative x to the power of 4. Then we're going to have plus 5x squared. And the last term will be subtract 2. So that is the answer to part b of this question.